I'm Donny Crash and today we're building a load cell handbrake. I've included a link to all the parts needed down below as well as the code and cutting templates. This is an extremely easy build and is great for beginners, but if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment. Other than that, I hope you enjoy! Handles are pretty subjective, so feel free to make your own. I decided to create mine with a composite of wood and steel glued together. Here I'm taking the laser cut inners and applying an even layer of wood glue to them. Once they're all in place, I bolt them together, clean off any remaining glue, clamp them and allow them to dry overnight. Once dry, we'll epoxy the steel outers to the wooden core and use aluminium pins to keep everything in place. The body for this handbrake is extremely easy to assemble. You've got two side plates, a front plate, a back plate and a bottom plate and everything is held together using steel standoffs. We'll start by bolting the steel standoffs to the right side plate, leaving the top standoff blank for now. This will allow us to work on the handbrake in coming steps. With the standoffs in, we can now go ahead and start assembling the rest of the handbrake. We'll start with the inners, so the front plate, the bottom plate and the back plate. I decided to paint my parts before putting everything together, so they do require a bit more force to put them together. Once we have all the inner plates together, we can now go ahead and put on the right side plate. With the body plates in place, we can now go ahead and bolt everything up. Load cells are extremely easy to use. Your load cell should have an arrow in it telling you how to mount it. This is a 20 kilogram load cell and we'll mount it on our front plate using the provided gap. You don't want the load cell to touch the front plate. So I found some spare bolts that I drilled out to six millimeters to create some washers for the mounting. I found that that creates ample space for that funny white stuff not to touch the plate. The assembly is really easy. All we're using is two 4mm bolts, two washers and we mount that directly to the load cell. Before you mount yours, I recommend drilling out the top two holes opposite the arrow so that we can use that for our pusher in a later stage. Here I drilled them both out to 6mm so that the 6mm rod can slide through it easily.
for the electronics, we use an Arduino Pro Micro and an HX711 load cell amplifier. We'll take four wires. One will be ground, power, clock, and data. These match the outputs of your load cell amplifier. Power to power, ground to ground, signal to A0, and clock to A1. On the load cell side, all you have to do is match the colors. I played around with this for quite a bit to get the wires to lay nicely together. I found that taping the top of the load cell to the top of the Pro Micro was the easiest option. Next we'll take the tape and tape the Pro Micro to the inside of the handbrake, making sure to line the USB with the slot in the front plate. For the push rod assembly, we'll start by creating the bushing. Bushings compiled of furniture stoppers stuck together, with a hole drilled through the middle. I will say that there are multiple different types of furniture stoppers, so finding the right bushing may take a bit of searching. Next we take a 6mm bolt and file off the first 40mm. This allows for it to slide easier through the load cell. I also found these really cool rubber washers which are generally used for toilets and sinks, which create a nice cushioning against the load cell. We'll take our newly filed bolt and slide it through the bottom hole of the load cell. Next I'll use more rubber washers as this creates more resistance. On goes our furniture bushing. another rubber washer a steel washer and finally our rose joint I recommend you play around with different compositions of rubber in different orders, as this will create the resistance you're looking for in your handbrake. We can now go ahead and put in the top standoff. We'll start our final assembly by inserting the handle. Next we'll take our 6mm aluminium rod and a few spaces that I created from bolts lying around and insert them through the bottom. Lastly we'll take a 6mm rod and insert it through the hole with the rose joint. We'll finish the handbrake off by inserting paper clip through the holes drilled in the rod. This will prevent it from falling out.
And there we have it, a Lodzol handbrake ready to use.